Oh. Cornell's already a germaphobe as is, so. Oh. Oh, it's, ooh. It's freaking hard as a rock. You gotta reach way deep. I know, I don't want nothing to bite me. <laughs> reach in there. <laughs> they weigh a quarter ounce. They could barely really probably break the skin if they bit you. I'm gonna get rabies. Vacuum this stuff. Mm. I had a hell of a time creating this for you. It's Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video should be very interesting because we have a rodent problem in our bus and we believe that they're in our heating box because our heat suddenly stopped working um, and usually I guess that's where they like to nest in cars and stuff is in the heating box. So we're currently about to take it apart and see what's inside and hopefully get them out. It's very upsetting to me because I never want to hurt an animal. So I don't know if, what we're gonna do if there's live animals in there, but they gotta get out of our bus that we've put our whole life into. <laughs> they can't be in there. Once we start driving it more, this shouldn't be a problem, but it's getting cold in Connecticut. So they're looking for places to settle for the winter. It's a tough situation, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned to see what we find in our engine. I'm scared. Ah! I'm actually really nervous to see what's in here. If there's live mice, so what are we gonna do? Get them out. Put them in a box and bring them to a nice field. <laughs> They're gonna run for it. You think? We're taking it apart. I don't see how I'm gonna get this out. Did he remove this thing? I think he um, loosened it. Let me see. What up? Top bolt. I think he's saying one of these bolts. No, this this bolt right here. Which one? This bolt. Yeah, right here. so then you can move it. All yeah. Right. Almost there. Yeah, once that bolt comes out, then we can move this. Things are cheap. I'm gonna go buy one right now. There's nothing in there. Nothing. Unless it's down in the thing. It's clean. That was anticlimactic. So there's no nest in there, like we thought, which is good, because we actually saw the, mi the mouse yesterday jump out of this area. So I'm surprised there's not a nest in there. But now we gotta figure out why our heat's not working. So now we're taking the shop back, now that we have the blower heater box apart, and we're blowing heater the heater motor and we're blowing the air out from the vents, out through the heater blower to make sure there's nothing How much are these? in there. 40 bucks, I'm gonna go grab one. All right. So, we have good news and bad news. The good news is there was no mice or live animals in our heating box, which is good because I just didn't want to deal with that. Um, but the bad news is we believe our, what is it, the fan motor? The fan mo motor, yeah. The fan motor shot. is shot. So we're on our way to an auto store because um, we tested it and it's not working. So we're on our way to an auto store to get one. 
We thought there was mice in there because we have seen mice in there. There was evidence of mice in there. We think now they've left because we've been in there working like every day. But, uh, yeah, we thought, I guess usually they like to go in the heat box. We thought that's why our heat wasn't working. Yesterday, yep. a mouse literally, when my dad was looking at it, literally jumped out and landed on his hand. It was really crazy. So I don't know if they left or like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't think they were actually there because even if they were there and made a nest, we would still see the nest. Like it was no evidence of sticks or twigs or insulation. There was nothing in there. It's just the motor was not working. So I'm yeah. really happy about that because I didn't really want to see any freaking mice or little pinkies in there. I know, like little babies that have been traumatizing. But we're going to get another one and hopefully we can hook this back up and everything will be all nice and dandy. Yep. So that's what we're doing now. We picked up the part we needed from the auto store. <laughs> what you say like that? Auto store. And now we're headed back home um, to put it in. And we are hoping that that will solve the problem because if it doesn't solve the problem, and we're screwed and it's serious and we have no heat. And we have to go to a mechanic and pay a lot more money than. I'm not trying to do that. I already have to just it. pay $90 for a freaking motor. So this thing better work. But if we fix this ourselves for $90, I'm gonna be a happy. Uh, we actually um, ended up saving money because the mechanic probably would have charged us like $300 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll see you guys back at the bus and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we just got back to the house. So now um, we're going to attempt to put our new heater mower motor back into the bus. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Taking it out wasn't that difficult. I'll kind of talk to you guys through what we did. All right. So our motor was it's right here. The battery is usually right in this area. You can see our terminal cables are still there. The first thing we did was um, we took out the screws. There's screws along here to keep the motor in place and to get a little bit more room, wiggle room. We took out the screw that was right in there. I don't know what this is, but took that screw out so we can get in there. And now I'm going to put it back. Let's try to. And we kind of took a vacuum cleaner and like the shop vac and blew out any gunk or anything that was stuck in there. And there wasn't really anything in there. There's no nest, like we said, there's no mice living in there. So that's a good thing. So it was just a shot motor. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put this little gasket on. It kind of like um, seals it. You just, gotta peel that off so it's sticky. I know. so close. Uh, I gotta take this shit. This bolt. You're really close. I can't get past this. Alright. So, to replace this and put this back in there, what you want to do first, let's come closer. This little, I don't know, don't know what this says, but it has two bolts. I don't know what this is. It has a bolt here and a bolt down there. And you want to take those bolts out. And that gives you a little bit of room so you can move that any way you want and get it out of the way. So now that I took those bolts out, this should just, should just pop in there. Pretty easy, but let's 
take a look. Now look out the way. Yeah, you gotta do it like that and just work it in. Get this holes out the way. Here you go. Here, almost there. There she uh, is. And voila. And now just line up these bolts, and it should be good. And these are the screws that hold that together. It's about five sixteen. Yep. All right, I'm gonna do the one I see first. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh All right. So we bolted the actual fan motor. The um, new one in place. And you gotta put everything back, back together. Together. So we gotta plug in the motor, then we gotta put the battery back in and bolt everything back up. So that goes like that. This is the tray that holds the battery that we have to put in. He's a mechanic. He's a carpenter. He's an electrician. He's a musician. Anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. For now. Oh, I didn't say electrician. Did I say that? I think you did. No. Oh. An electrician. A musician. A sexy mofo. Now I see how my, why mechanics' hands are always so nasty looking. <laughs> I know, like they go out to eat and their hands look like that. I'm Watch like, um. Permanently dirty, like you ever wash your hands? <laughs> Let's see if I can get this summer going in. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. I got it in. That was easier than I thought. I thought that was gonna be the hard part. Yep, tight and ready. Tight, lightly, 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 lightly. Uh, Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. Just tightening this thing. Like I said, it was a bolt down below and a bolt right here. I had to take them both out. Zero experience. I've never did anything besides change a battery. I've never even changed oil before. Really? Nope. But it goes to show. If you want it done, you can do it. So. What do you want? Trotting over here. No. What do you want? What do you want, Wentz? Can't you see we're working? I'm missing a bolt or a nut. Hmm. Oh, Is there any in here? No, I had them over there. I must have fell. Next. That is in. Next, we're gonna drop the battery in there. I'm scared. Oh. Ew, get your spitty seat off of it. 
This is where things get a little tricky. Why is it fitting so much better this time? All right. Where's my tools? Damn rooster. He's loud. Waking up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, so bus didn't even turn over. And I think it's because this wire needs to go to this negative. I think. I'm gonna try that and see. Now that I have to look at it, I don't remember this wire being here. Where was it? I think it was there. Really? It wasn't like how this one is there, that one's there? Oh, almost felt it. No, I don't think so. Well, if that doesn't work, then we'll put it on that one. Yeah, see, like, that's not even, that's just to hold that terminal. Oh. truth. I'm nervous. Woo! We did it! Uh, yeah, that's on, but... Yeah. It worked? Working. Alright, now let's see if heat comes out. Before, there was no air coming out at all. We successfully replaced the motor fan. Yeah, we did it. So we solved that problem. So yeah. All right. So when it goes back on. So if you don't want we are back a few here, days later right from when we originally thought that we had mice in our heater box, but we didn't, but we still replaced the fan. So we're here a few days later because we're getting prepared to install our passenger seat. And we pulled this front cover off. So this cover goes on here in the engine. And we knew we had mice. And turns out that down here, we found our rodent nest. And there's dead mice in it. So yeah, pretty nasty and sad. <laughs> But it's right on our engine, which would have been really dangerous because it would have started a fire. To pop this out to get to that. Oh. So yeah, we found our mouse nest a few days later. So this is good. Right on top of the engine. Would have started a fire if we kept driving with it. So now we're going to get footage right. of us taking it out for you guys. So we ended up replacing our fan motor anyways, and there wasn't a nest, but we found the nest. Oh, this is zoomed in. Yeah, there definitely was a nest. <sighs> you zoomed in on my giant nose. I didn't have a giant nose. It's a beautiful nose now. Yeah, your nose is beautiful. I said it was. I said it's giant. Oh, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> oh, man. Do it for the YouTube. Oh. Cornell's already a germaphobe as is, so. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's, ooh. It's freaking hard as a rock. So that's where that little guy popped out from that jumped on your hand? Probably. Got a lot of insulation. A lot of George hair. A lot of insulation. I they, found a bird's nest in the back full of George's hair. They've been stealing our insulation in our styrofoam. You gotta reach way deep. I know, I don't want nothing to bite me. <laughs> reach in there. <laughs> They weigh a quarter ounce. They can barely rabies. probably break the skin if they bit you. I'm gonna get rabies. <laughs> Could just vacuum this stuff. Yeah. I mean, at least it's easy to 
eat somewhere easy. Man, look at all this insulation. That's a pretty big mouse nest. Yeah. I'm loving it in there. Look at that. All of that was on top of our engine. That's so dangerous. A huge fire hazard. But look at that little nook. Like, that's perfect for them to nest in. Yeah, it is. Any cold areas, people know this time of year, the freaking rodents come out. Now I'm gonna take the vacuum cleaner and just clean it out. Okay. Get any more. That was it. Now that's it for this video. We fixed the blower motor, which didn't have the mouse nest in it, but we found the mouse nest and removed it. So that's good. It was right on top of the engine, which is dangerous. But I'm glad we figured that out because we've invested our whole lives into this bus and the rodents can't live here rent free. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys, Can't and stay tuned for our next video.